Hi, I'm Janet Tran, a teaching artist here at the Honolulu Museum of Art. And today, we are going to explore ink wash painting using common traditional tools. Ink wash painting is a prominent part of traditional East Asian brush painting that originated in ancient China and then made its way to Japan and Korea. East Asian painters consider four tools as essential to this practice. An ink stick made of soot and glue that is compressed and dried, an ink stone used to grind ink, brushes made of natural bristles in a variety of sizes and stiffness, and lastly, woven soap or handmade papers made from a variety of plants. As for subject matter, painters would focus on four common subjects. Landscape scenes, portraits or figures, fauna such as birds, horses or tigers, and flora like flowers and trees. With tools and subject in place, a painter focuses on capturing the spirit or nature of their subject matter over realistic lightness. To convey this, painters skillfully use a range of expressive brush strokes in varying shades of black. For today, the materials we will need are an ink stone, an ink stick, an assortment of bamboo brushes, sheets of watercolor paper, water in a container, squeeze bottle optional, rags and or paper towels, newspaper or thick paper to protect your work area. You can find all these materials at your local arts and craft stores. To start, we need to prepare our ink. First, we are going to fill the well of the ink stone two-thirds full of clean water. Next, pick up the ink stick and dip the small, flat end in the water, bringing some of the water to the ink stone's flat surface. With the flat end of the ink stick against the ink stone, rub in an even, smooth, and quick circular motion. Do this for at least two minutes or until all the water turns into a deep black ink. The ink should be slightly thicker than water. While grinding the ink, periodically mix the water and grind it ink together by bringing more water to the flat surface of the ink stone to grind with. This helps ensure all water and ink are mixed, creating a consistently black ink. Let's test the ink. Use a scrap paper and dip your brush in water to wet the bristles. The bristles need to be slightly damp before using. If you need to prepare more ink, add more water and grind until desired black ink is achieved. With our ink ready, it's time to explore painting. In front of you, have a large sheet of watercolor paper. Pick a brush and dip in water to wet bristles. Remember, any brush used needs to be slightly damp before using. Dip the brush into ink. Here we are going to create a range of brush strokes. Some painting techniques to try include painting thin lines, to thick lines. Gently playing with the brushes to change the tip. Playing with speed using fast strokes or slow and steady. You could also try wet on wet, where we wet the paper with clean water, then apply ink. Here are some other examples you can try out as well. You can take a damp brush and just gently dip the tip into the ink. When you leave the brush mark, it'll create a gradient stroke just like the ones you see here. You could also grab the brush and try dabbing it in different angles to create interesting shapes. 
from large to tiny to even the most abstract marks. Try also using the brush and twirling and swirling to see what kind of expressive lines you may get. You could also grab the brush and you apply a lot of pressure to it, maybe really hard to really gentle and seeing what kind of shapes emerge. By combining all of these techniques, you can create your own unique ink wash painting. While our painting is drying, let's clean up. Take your ink stick and a paper towel and make sure you dry off any moisture. Once it's completely dry, you're going to grab a clean box and put it back just like this. Cleanup is done. Your work should be dry now. Let's take a look. <laughs> 